Andrew Harmon taking the uh, penalty spot back there. You think he knows he has a fast car. He's starting deep in this one. Ready? Three. Green flag. Freedom 75 for the four-cylinder. And now he's underway. Green flag is out for the 75 lap main event for the Enduro Series here today. The 43S of John Shedd takes the lead. He looks like he's going to lead lap number one. They're five wide going down to turn number three. A couple cars stopped at the bottom of the racetrack. Keep an eye on Andrew Harmon in that 14 car. He's already caught the back of the pack. Tom Harwood already done. Made it a lap and a quarter here in the 16 car. Gives up off at the top of turns one and two. Shed leads the way in the 43S. Three and four wide mid pack right now. Keep an eye on Leon Keniston, the king of the Enduros. Andrew Harmon is flying in that 14 car. Started a half track behind and he's already up inside top 15, I believe, in the 14 car. Nadine Coates down through the infield. Battle for second now. Nick Gilchrist in the 132. Down underneath the 63, Shane Guerin. And Gilchrist going to take over the second spot, trying to reel in your leader, John Shedd, in car number 43S. Four wide down the front stretch. That's not going to work. LeBrady kisses the wall, keeps it rolling. Everybody avoids contact. Ryan Partridge way up the racetrack into Harmon. Harmon off the back straightaway. He keeps his foot right in it. What a save by LeBrady in the 056. Kathy Hubble with a big bobble in the 17 car. Hubble keeps it rolling in the 17 car with a huge bubble, but she keeps it rolling. We stay racing. Only red flags for fires or flipovers here in the Enduros. One car with huge problems. Joey Sassville with huge problems in the triple six. One time not turning the right way, he's going to retire it himself before he came around to the black flag. The right front tire on that car. Turning right the whole way around the Star Speedway. Right now, your leader continues to be the 43S of John Shedd. Nick Gilchrist. In the 132 is in the second spot. He's battled with Shane Guerin in the 63 as they head down the back chute. Three wide as Gilchrist goes to the bottom side of the 132. Gilchrist is just about caught your leader. He's out of control though. He's gonna lose the second spot to Shane Guerin in the 63. Guerin takes back that second spot. Then you caught your leader, John Shed now, top three. Right there as they head down the back chute. Here comes Andrew Harmon in the 14 car. Harmon in the 14 is up into the fourth spot looking for more now as he dips and dodges his way through traffic. Harmon now going to go to the outside on the 132 and Nick Gilchrist for the third spot. Harmon picking him up, putting him down, going high side on the Star Speedway. Three wide around second spot, Shane Guerin. Andrew Harmon into the second spot. Gets put up towards the front stretch wall that time in the 14 so he doesn't take the second spot away for the moment. John Shedd, Shane Guerin, and Andrew Harmon, all three cars down the back chute. That's for the top spot. They're going to go four wide for a second. Four wide for the lead. New leader, it's Andrew Harmon in the 14 car down the front chute. Harmon wasted no time in the 14 car, taking away the lead from the 43S of John Shedd. Andrew Harmon takes the lead away now. He's going to try to check out from the rest of the field. Second is still the early leader, John Shedd. Third is Shane Guerin. Fourth is the 132 at Gilchrist. And fifth, I believe, is Leon Kennison in the 933. Exactly what I have. That is exactly what Pam Moriarty has, and she has way more experience doing this than I do. So we're going to go with that top five right now. Pam has the fastest fingers in the land, that is for sure. She has your top five on lock. Andrew Harmon leads the way in the 14 car. Two cars battling for position right in front of him. He has to go to the bottom side of one of them. 
stuck behind one of them down the back chute, pushes him down the back chute. Oh, Harmon in some trouble. Little contact there with some lap cars. He gets through it without much issue. Battle for the second spot on back is pretty good right now. Down the back straightaway, Shed, Garen in the 132, and Nick Gilchrist all go at it for the second spot. Leon Keniston starting to reel them in the 933 as well. Keniston now going to look to the bottom side of Nick Gilchrist down the back straightaway. Shed goes way up the racetrack. Oh, right in front of that battle, the 71 car goes around. That's Michael Sylvia. Sylvia, you're going to do a loop de loop back onto the racetrack. Kicks it off that wall down in turns three and four. Back on the racetrack. No harm, no foul for the 71 car. Shane Guerin takes that second spot back away from the 43S of John Shedd. Shedd back to third, fourth, Gilchrist, and fifth is Leon Kennison. They're all in the line right there going down the back straightaway is Andrew Harmon's way out in front in car 14. Harmon, a former mini stock champion here at the Star Speedway, making it look pretty easy thus far in car number 14 down the back chute. Keep an eye on that battle for the third spot. Gilchrist now around the outside of Shed. Kennison going to try it as well. Look at go almost three wide. Kennison had to get on the binders as there was a lap car in the mix there. Kennison going to go back to work on the 43 S of Shed now. Oh, just like that, Tom Harwood found life in the 16 car. Harwood's been sitting at the top of the racetrack all race long, and I guess they decided to fire back up. Tom Harwood's been sitting there since lap number one in the 16 focus right here on the front stretch. He's rolling again very slowly. Nick Gilchrist now takes over the second spot from the 63 of Shane Guerin. Oh, contact down the back straightaway. One car sideways in and out. That's not a good place to be sitting. Keep an eye on that car, folks. That is not a great place to be sitting. Car is going to have to dodge that car. Back up, hit reverse. Kathy Hubble goes down through the grass to avoid that car. I'm not sure the number on that car. Joshua Manius, 44X, says our assistant head scorer, Joe Peppenbrady. This team I work with up here is flawless. <laughs> That sends the 27 car of Michael Cote around. He keeps it rolling, it looks like. See if he can get back underway. So Andrew Harmon continues to lead. Just took lap number 28 at the line, I believe, in car 14. Cote back underway in the 27 car. Second spot right now is the 132 of Gilchrist. Third is Garen. Fourth is Keniston. Not finding early leader Shed. Maybe went off the racetrack in car 43S. Harmon not slowing down right now in car 14. Picking him up, putting him down in car 14. Four wide down the front street right now. Labrini in the mix in the L56. The bumper hanging off, it ain't slowing him down any. <laughs> Shane Gearn and Nick Gilchrist going at it for the second spot right now. Andrew Harmon, your leader down pit road in the 14 car. Pulls it off. That, that gives 
is the lead to the 132 of Nick Gilchrist now. Gilchrist to the 132. You're the leader. With Shane Gear right on him, Leon Kennison in the third spot. Gilchrist in some trouble there. Through turns one and two. Traffic all over the place for, the, for Gilchrist. Here comes Kennison now. Kennison trying to take that second spot away from the 63 Shane Gear. We got a good race for the lead. Three cars right here, folks. The 132 year leader, 63 in the second, and the 933 in the third spot. All battle out for bragging rights here in the Freedom 75. Ryan Partridge down pit lane in this 25 car. Early exit for Partridge. Harmon back on the speedway in the 14 car. Not sure how many laps he lost in the 14. According to Pam Moriarty, head score two laps down is the 14 of Harmon now. Oh! Green flag back in the air, four cylinder and arrow back in the way. Shane Gearn in the 63 is your leader. Second spot down the back straight away. Leon Kennison in the 933. He's got a long way to go to try to catch your leader, Shane Gearn, in car number 63. Halfway home at the line for your leader, Gearn, in the 63. Halfway home at the line. Kennison right there at the line is your second place car. He's got about a full track to make up right now in car number 933. 40 laps in the record book. 35 remain for Shane Gearn in car number 63. Keep an eye on Gilchrist's car. That thing's still sitting up against the wall. And we've seen in the past, people sometimes forget that there's a car up there when they're running their lane here at the Star Speedway. It could get very interesting here as laps start to wind down in the 75 lap main event for the four cylinder enduro here from the Star Speedway on Independence Day, July 4th. We thank you all for joining us. Some Hardy Race fans out here today at the Star Speedway. A good show put on. Here comes your leader, Shane Guerin, working his way through lap traffic in car 63. A little bit of contact that time with lap traffic. The 15 of Darren Briggs got in there a little heavy. Got in the back bumper of Guerin. But Guerin is about a full track ahead of second spot. Leon Kennison in the 933. Unofficially in the second spot right now. Thirty laps to go at the line when he gets back for the 63 of Shane Guerin. Thirty more trips around on the Star Speedway for the 63 of Shane Guerin. spot unofficially right now is Leon Kennison. He's in danger of going a lap down to your leader, the 63 of Shane Guerin. His lap starts to tick away here to close out today's racing action with the Freedom 75 for the four cylinder arrows from the Star Speedway. Guerin, your leader in the 63. Kennison runs second.
unofficially right now. Third spot is Corey Davis in the 78 car. This is all unofficial, folks, but we do know the leader is Shane Gearn in that 63 as he heads down the back chute. Right there, that just crossed the line. That's third spot, the 78 of Corey Davis unofficially right now in the third spot. Under 20 laps remain now for your leader, Shane Guerin. Kenniston's 933 slowing on the front straightaway. Looks like the car might be skipping a little bit on Leon as your leader is about to put him a lap down here as they go through turns three and four. Shane Guerin on a rail now in the 63 car. One car of Michael Sylvia struggling a little bit to keep that thing up to speed, but he's still making laps. Garen set to put second spot. Leon Kennison a lap down now as they head down the front chute. And there he goes. Puts him a lap down. A full lap down for the 63. Shane Garen this time by... Oh, big blow up in the corner. Going to keep that car up against the wall. No harm, no foul. 20 to go for Garen. My math was a little off when I said under 20 to go. 20 to go that time by for Shane Garen in the 63. Ryan Partridge back on the speedway in a 25 car after exhibition through the pit area as laps start to tick away here in the Freedom 75 for the four-cylinder Enduro Series. Next time, uh, going to be 15 laps left for your leader, Shane Guerin, in car 63. Your leader is in a heap of lap traffic right now in the 63 cars. He's not slowing down. He is dipping and dodging through lap traffic in car 63. He's got a bunch of clear racetrack up ahead of him once he clears that car with the American flag on it. Wyatt Osgood, Street America in the 13 car. He goes a lap down, another lap down to your leader. Shane Guerin in the 63 as laps continue to tick away. And nobody in the ballpark right now with the 63 of Shane Guerin. The Harmon family taking the long road home here after Andrew pulled off early. Cam Harmon is dejected right now after Dad had a first place run going. Cam not happy showing no emotion on his exit out of the Star Speedway. Dad's going to get a talking to tonight from little Cam Harmon. Next time by for the 63, Shane Gehring going to be 10 laps to go from Chief Starter Steve Green. 10 laps to go for the 63 of Shane Guerin. Ten to go at the line for Garen in the 63. Attrition taking its toll on the four-cylinder enduro field here tonight. Laps ticking away. The 
The 44X has a flat tire. That's Joshua Manius in the 44X down off the racetrack. As he is to our rules here at the Star Studio, once you get the flat, stop the car, and he does it right away in the 44X, so we thank him for that. Oh, big contact in the corner. Your leader is not in it. He goes around it. Two cars sitting. This is going to get interesting now. You're going to take a different route around the corner. Kathy Hubble takes evasive action. There's the 12 car of Jeremy Hayes and the 44 of Todd Lowell. Both sitting over there. Both look like they're done for the day. Almost made it to the end. We'll see if either of them can keep it rolling as Shane Guerin's picking them up and putting them down. Six laps to go at the line for Guerin in the 63. Going to choose a new line. Kathy Hubble doing the rumble strip line. Good move for her in the 17 car. Five laps to go at the line for your leader, Shane Guerin in the 63. Making it look easy now. Oh, boy. That 107 car just came oh so close to the car of Nick Gilchrist that sits up against the wall. Shane Guerin picking him up, putting him down, making it look easy with four laps to go at the line in today's Freedom 75 for the four-cylinder Enduros from the Star Speedway. Guerin's got some open racetrack ahead of him before he catches Nadine Coates in the 40 and the 17 of Kathy Hubble. One car kept it rolling. Where's the 12 car? There he is. Jeremy Hayes able to keep it rolling after getting that car refired. One car sitting right in the middle. The 44 of Todd Lowell. Unable to keep that car rolling. Two laps to go this time by for Garrett. Oh, one car gets into him. I told you someone would forget about that car sitting down there. I think that's the 03 of Jim Lucas. Excuse me, Tim Lucas. Yep, Lucas in the 03. Little boat with the 44 keeps it rolling. No harm, no foul. This time by white flag for the 63 of Shane Guerin. Final trip around. White flag in the air from Chief Starter Steve Gran for Shane Guerin in car number 63. Down the back, shoot for the final time. We're going to close out today's racing action. We thank you all for spending your 4th of July with us. Checkered flag in the air, your fourth cylinder in row. Freedom 75 winner, Shane Guerin in car number 63. We'll head trackside to catch a word with Shane real quick. Had top three, four were with each other the whole race after the 14 pulled off. Huge wreck on the front straightaway, and then after that, you never looked back. The 63 was uh, clean and green to the end. Yeah, no, I feel bad for the 132. We were racing real good. Uh, came into some lap traffic, and uh, he got right in front of me and ended up hooking him and hooked the 132. So I hope he's all right. Uh, nothing intentional, just good racing. But uh, happy we won tonight.